Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to Tuna Pond News this week. I'm your host, Brett Royer, and this is the no air conditioning uh, edition. <laughs> Get ready for some sweat, people. We losing pounds today. Story number one this week, we're going to take it over to Abe Kirshner because he's got an art story to tell us about. Abe? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Abe doing what? <laughs> Okay. My hair <laughs> looks good. Thank you, Brett. 22 year old, bleh, 22 year old Morgan Davis has some awesome, super hyper realistic colored pencil drawings. I've always had this huge respect for colored pencil artists. I I've always loved it. It's super fun. But you gotta check them out. They're super cool. Do you like those? They're cool, right? Now back to Brett, because he's going to interview somebody else. Thank you, Abe, for telling us how super everything is. It is, dude. said it's super like three times. It was a super story. It was super. Story number two, Tony reads the news. Did you get your life? Tony reads the news. What? Thanks, Brett. I wish Abe was able to hand me my phone, but he's not. <laughs> this just in. Thanks, Abe. A busy night at Moshinian Drive. Motion, motion at sun. At some, somewhere drive. Police were called twice from nearby location on July 2nd because two people both like pizzas. I like pizzas. Do you, do you pizza, people, are they bringing cop bring pizzas now? Cool. Can you imagine that? Oh man. Do, 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 do. You haven't even told the story yet. Oh, I why? thought that was the story. Why were they cops there? anything about the story, Zoe. Yeah. Two people called cops because they like I pulled, oh wait. I pulled That's the end of the story. I pulled them waiting for a pizza to be delivered. Called police. They said when the delivery guy got there, um, complaint was unfounded that the pizza also ordered pizza. So two people ordered pizza? You can punch them. <laughs> so, two people order pizza, and the police were called. Thanks. Thank you, Tony. And now, to tell us what that story was really about, here's Abe. <laughs> Alright, the best way to describe this. Brett ordered the pizza. I go outside, take the pizza. Brett gets mad, calls the cops, because I'm stealing Brett's pizza. But, cops show up and find out, no... I just ordered pizza too, and that was my pizza. Yours isn't here yet, dude. Calm down. Thank you, Abe. We needed that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Listen to his comments over here <laughs> on everything. <laughs> hey, hey, if you ask him this week. <laughs> All right. We got to hurry, guys. We need some air conditioning. <laughs> this is getting bad. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to have like pits, or, like. It's going to be showing soon on my shirt. I hope you take that part out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who's next? Abe with the story? No, I'm kidding. Now, the Sobe factory, they thought it would be a good idea to start including uh, help messages on their caps. They said, help me, stuck in Sobe factory. And uh, some people did not take it as a joke. They started calling the authorities. And uh, now Sobe has had to an issue, issue uh, 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 a sorry. They said sorry for... Messing with people. Sorry for being funny. Sorry for having a sense of humor. Uh, you didn't take that as a joke. So be. Wow. So be it. So be it. That's terrible. Oh, this just in. Justin's got some stories. Hi, everyone. Um, who hates airplanes like I do? I've di almost died a few times in them. Check out this picture. Tony, remember to put a picture here. Am I doing that? I'm thinking I put a 9 11 picture picture anyways as you can see that is duct tape trying to repair an airplane and uh abe lost the story but i think lost what i it. what i remember an airport somewhere person inside waiting to take off they got their little pictures and uh, they look out the window on the plane that they're about to take off on and they're fixing it with duct tape and yeah that's about the time you get off that plane because duct tape's strong and all but no Anyways, I'm going to continue to hate airplanes, and I love you. Bye-bye. Back to be right. 
And now we go to the most beautiful girl in the whole wide world. Aww. My baby, Aurora Jean. Hey! Um, well, I have a story for you. There is this guy who has a dog. You know, he's just inside, and then he hears his dog yelping. And he runs outside and sees a cougar getting his dog. And he punches the cougar. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, and he just saves his dog. Yep. I, I would too. It. I could picture where I would be the cougar at. Boom. Would you the audience, they get attacked yes. by the cougar, they punch it in the face. Punch it in the face. I'd punch it if it was my dog. If it was Gilmore, you punch your dog? No. Okay. If it was Gilmore yeah. that yelped, I would. Don't say it to me, say it to the camera. Yeah. Boom, boom. Don't you mess with my dog. Yeah! Cougars. That's my little puppy. Say bye. Bye. <clears throat> Thank you, Rora. You are gorgeous. Oh, and now. Okay. And now we're gonna take you over to A. Thank you, Brett. Thank you, Aurora. Thank you, everybody. I don't know if you follow the career of Hulk Hogan. Whoa, Hulk? Hulk Hogan! <laughs> I don't know if you follow the career of Hulk Hogan, but recently he has been involved in a lawsuit against Gawker Media for releasing excerpts of his sex tape. I didn't know he had a sex tape. Whoa. But anyway, they had to have a pretrial because Hulk Hogan was worried about showing up in the courtroom without a signature do rag. So they had a special, they had a special trial just to decide he's allowed one plain headband for the whole trial. Just a plain black one, I'm assuming. No NWO. <laughs> he's just chilling. No, no Hulkamania. No Hulkamania, brother. Thanks everybody for tuning in this week. That was our show. Tune in next week for an all new Tune Upon News. What? And that, and that, ch what? 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 Rex, did you just raise the roof? Yeah, raise the roof. Guys, Rex is raising the roof right over there. Right there. <laughs> I haven't seen that since before she was born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, raise the roof. Raise the roof, guys. Let's get uh -oh. this started. <laughs>